Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, last night I came to the boat after the workshop and I knocked up a few of these frames. These are going to act as supports for the hatches. I'm going to uh, do a bit of sanding and epoxy these straight down to it so when the hatch sits in it's going to sit on the supports so they don't fall through. Once we've got the sides in place then we can start building the skeletal structure for everything else. So really want to crack on with that so let's see what we can get done today. Let's go! So that's worked really well. So I'm just gonna do this with the rest of them. Last night I made a little error of judgment and I didn't quite check the weather. And after I epoxied these floor pieces, I left the boat and started going home and noticed there was quite a bit of frost around and I didn't realize, but it was actually gonna to drop to two degrees last night. So I'm gonna see how these cured overnight. They are a bit thick, they are cured, they're solid. It's a little bit thick in places, but I am gonna sand it down and paint it anyway, so I think we've got away with it. Okay, moment of truth, let's see how they fit. Oh, that's so simple, but I'm so proud of that. That's amazing. It's definitely not perfect. This needs a lot of, it's a bit of sanding, tidying up. All the resin's a little bit uneven in here. Just need to get the sander in here, but really happy with that. I'm gonna paint inside here and then I'm gonna sand down this edge, screw it down, glass it in. It's never gonna come out. Wow, this is so cool. Celebrate the small wins because you never know how often they're gonna happen. Look at that. Oh, it's blood. That's my blood. Oh, good. Oh, okay. These are all healthy noises. Okay, so here on the starboard side one, there is going to be a hatch here, but there's also going to be a seat here. Our nav table is going to come through here. We're going to cut this out of the bulkhead here. Um, we're going to put in the nav table and there's going to be a seat both sides. Now we still don't know what we're going to do with the seat. We don't know if it's going to be a pull-out seat or a permanent seat. That's why I've not cut the hatch yet because I just don't know where it's going to sit on the floor. But there will be one going in here just so we have easy access to plumbing and electricals, everything that comes through here, we want to be able to access at all times. So for now, we're gonna leave it as it is. I know how to do the hatches nice and quick and easy. So we'll do it when we need to do it. Hey everyone, we just wanted to jump in and say thank you for all your support so far. And um, everyone who's subscribed and liked our videos, we couldn't be more thankful. And for those of you who've bought us a coffee before, we are extra grateful for that. A lot of effort goes into making these videos, so any kind of extra donation like that really gives us a boost and helps us produce better content. We are really excited to announce that we have joined Creators Wheelhouse. This is a subscription service that allows us to receive donations monthly. From the price of a coffee a month, we are offering early access to our YouTube videos, real-time updates, and some extra behind-the-scenes content. As our channel grows, we'll be able to offer more to our supporters. If you are interested, then please head to the link in the description below for more details. But most importantly, the best support you can give is just to keep watching our videos. Thank you! <laughs> no, Okay. I don't think I've anything to say. Tomorrow, Sunday, is Ellie's day off. Out the road, Granny. Puppy in the road. Excuse me. But Ellie hasn't been on the boat in a while, so. I want there to be a couple of surprises for her when she comes in. So we have a big tidy. She's going to see the. It's going to be the first time she sees the floor fully epoxied, with the hatches cut out and in, and all that's epoxied as well. Um, but I want to give her a bit of a shock. So while I'm at the unit, I'm also going to pick up my saw. I'm going to cut some things out. <laughs> Ooh, 
mission accomplished. From the very start of this project, we know we've always wanted to trim back these aft bulkheads. Now, I've watched a lot of DIY sewing videos before, and I know that cutting into bulkheads can be a massive bony contention for a lot of people, and for good reason. Most bulkheads in a boat are structural, and they are, they have to be there, in a necessity. What I want to do to these, we want to cut out a small piece of them, just to open up the space a little bit. For me, I know that I can see straight through here. I know that this isn't attached to this part of the boat in any way. And at the top here, it is just glued in. So for me, there's no structural element to this whatsoever. It is tabbed under the side deck. I'm not gonna cut back that far at all. So we're just gonna cut down here, up to the countertop height here, and remove this piece here. This is on the port side. And over the starboard side, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to come halfway down and we're going to cut it off at the seat height. There's going to be a bench here. The nav table is going to be behind here, but we just want this to be all open through here. Again, with the side deck, I don't think it's structural. Nothing is tabbed in over here. It is tabbed in on the bottom here, but it's all loose up here on the deck and it's extremely wobbly. It's 15 mil. I know it's not structural. It's coming out. Okay, honestly, I wanted more than anything than to cut this starboard bulkhead down today, but I'm just trying to figure out seat height, and I want to be able to get the perfect seat height, because we've been spending a lot of time sitting down here, and what was there before wasn't comfortable at all, so I'm just messing around, having to play with what heights to get, but I think, I think I need Ellie to help make this decision. I don't think I can make this on my own, so sadly, I think I'm gonna leave this one in, I've taken that one out for her to see tomorrow, just to see how it feels. It'll be great once I come in here tomorrow with the, with the daylight, and I think it's going to be so much brighter now that that's cut out. We get a whole extra window giving light to the rest of the boat. Wow. Which I think is going to be fantastic. Crumbs. I was right when I cut that one out, but it wasn't stuck to anything, just a little bit of glue. It's got a lovely little crease that had about five spiders living in it. Um, so I'm really satisfied that that's a good job. So, amazing. Really chuffed, I can't wait to see Ellie's face when she sees it. I'm so proud of you! <laughs> Car deal, that's like the biggest thing that's happened. Uh, <laughs> you can see it in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's alright. Better have a tidy now, otherwise she'll have a go at me. Just come down for a couple of hours. I'm going to remove this bulkhead over this side. That's kind of all I've got on my list today. If I'm feeling a bit better after that, then I might go and cut some wood and start putting together the sofa area, which would be really cool. But I'm just going to take it easy. There's a bit of a flu going around. But let's get cracking.
see I have not cut the hatch in here. Um, like I said I would because I didn't have the right tools on me. That's the only reason. So I took it all the way to the workshop just to bring it back again. That's okay. We'll carry up and we'll try again later. So I've just got back from the workshop. I've cut these two bits of 18 mil ply and I'm gonna to get to work putting the small length of the L shape in on the sofa. I did take the floor piece to cut the extra hatch out of, but I didn't take my set square with me, so I couldn't do that. So I quickly put that back in the car and forgot about it. That doesn't have to be done now. I'll do that at some point, but I really wanna focus on getting at least a little bit of this sofa put in place. Okay, just a little explanation of what I'm doing. Essentially, the seat is gonna come across here and be one long piece. 18 mil is gonna sit on top of here and come across about 61 centimeters out. That's gonna be the main seat facing aft. And then we're gonna have like an L-shaped sofa with a pull out. So what I'm gonna do, concentrate on first is this um, forward piece. I'm gonna cut a bit of 18 mil about 150 centimeters long. And what I'm gonna do now is just describe the shape of the hull so that when I cut the back piece essentially, which will be the front of the sofa, it can have a nice curve against the heart. Let's see if that works. Okay, this time I'm gonna try and learn from all the mistakes I made yesterday. So, right, what I've got here is a scrap bit of 18 mil, and I've put a load of straight Sharpie lines on it. To get the shape of the hull, I've got a bit of two by one that I've drawn a mark on. I'm going to basically line it up on these lines and where the mark falls as I go down with the contour of the hull, I'll put a mark on these lines and it should give us the rough shape of the hull. Theoretically, I've seen it done before, that's what they do online, so let's see if it works for me. As you can see, just taking that mark down and that is gonna slowly give us a very rough idea of the shape of the hull. Let's keep going. Well, I've made a mistake. I thought that that gap was smaller than this width of wood, but evidently what I should have done was put a mark down. Oh man, it's so close. No, it's not, it's miles off. So I'm gonna put the guide that I'm gonna screw into temporarily on the other side, on the forward side, so I have full access to draw lines on the aft side. And I'm gonna use a bigger bit of wood for the guide as well, so I can screw into it, and I'm gonna support it from the top as well so it doesn't move anywhere. I'm going to make this as easy as possible for myself. got this mark on the stick. And well, you know how the rest goes. Now we have our lines drawn, we have our dots. Now I'm just gonna join these dots up. It's gonna create a curve. It's gonna look something similar to that whole shape. Very close. And one last little bit of scribing. Back on the horse. <laughs> Okay, Ellie, cue dramatic music. Oh, 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 oh. We're not going to go hard up against the hull, so you can avoid hard spots, so we're going to cheat it back ever so slightly, but that. is wonderful. Let me fill you in with the dilemma. So this mass post over here prevents us from doing exactly what I just did with this piece down here, like offer it up directly in line, then scribe against it. So this piece can only go in when it's at the exact right measurement. Now I was gonna bring back a bit of scrap piece of 18 mil and then just line it up, scribe the edge and then put it on the edge of this draw it on, then cut it out that way. However, I just forgot, I forgot to pick it up. So that's embarrassing and time wasted because there's no shortcuts, there's nothing really I can do to 
make this easier, I'm just going to have to drive, it's only 10 minutes to the workshop, I'm just going to have to drive to the workshop, get that bit of wood, bring it back. No problem. No problem. So, as Ben continues to learn from his mistakes, we thank you again for watching another episode. And if you fancy joining Punch Club, you'll have the next episode in only a week. See you then. Right, BRB.